his life. Whoa! Dude, that was awesome. The first, I mean, he kind of came out once and then I, he disappeared back under the mangrove. And then, but he was actually coming to get the fly when I lost sight of him. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. That was that was really close to disaster. I miss I underestimated what the fish had left. So Dallas right here yeah. is when I'm going to loosen my drag in case he bails under the boat. And I'm going to use my fingers to add tension for when I pull right here. And then if if shit hits the fan, I've got a I've got a plan to drop my fingers right now, okay? Because it always gets kind of nasty by the boat. So when he runs, I'm going to I'm going to use my fingers for a little bit of drag, not all the drag. The other thing is when Roberto grabs it, when Roberto grabs this leader in a second, I'm gonna have to give him a bunch of line, right? He's gonna need a bunch more line in order to get a hold of it. So like that. So that's when I drop. have more stamina than I thought. You ready, Roberto? Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. There we go. Campeche Tarpon with Tarpon Town. Love it, man. That was awesome. Thank you, guys. All right, I'm in Campeche fishing for baby tarpon in these really cool mangrove channels and lagoons. Uh, and this was just a, a, a guy's trip. A bunch of us from the shop, Dallas, Bobby, Steve, Tony, Shannon, and I, just a bunch of the guys that work at Reds did this as a personal trip. But I want to take the opportunity to share a couple of tips. I just caught a beautiful tarpon. It was so much fun. Oh my gosh. When I, I threw it back in this hole back there and when it swam out, I got to see the entire thing and then it disappeared and kind of went back in the mangroves, but I just stayed on my strip. It wasn't gonna do me any good to pick up and re try to recast it. So that's maybe small tip number one is just go ahead and keep stripping and just believe this, the retrieve is gonna work. And then the fish actually turned and came back out for a second approach and got the fish. Uh, but the casting or the, the tip I wanna share with you uh, is that we're often set up by the guides. The guides do a great job of keeping the wind at your back. You don't often throw into a headwind when you're doing this kind of fishing because we choose to pull along these um, lines or these uh, kind of this rim that offers a good tailwind. But that can be really tough to be accurate. You wind up in the mangroves a lot. You wind up with wind knots and tangles. A tailwind is really tough. The tip I want to give you is you just have to think it through just a moment even where you're sitting at your desk or whatever if the wind is like this it's it's a tailwind if I'm casting like this 
it's just going to be compressing all that that line or that slack in my cast and then we wind up with really inconsistent casting results because as i throw backwards like this if i have if the tailwind is making much slack in my line i come forward and then i hit the tension kind of all at once and it's really violent it shocks the rod all at once it's a really messy cast and i wind up with these inconsistent results and i can't continue to just paint the shoreline so what i want you to do is i want you to just visualize what happens here in, in your back cast i want you to really set your rod tip up on a nice plane and then really back cast hard and forward cast soft so it's a very hard back cast with a hole and forward cast just very soft and let the wind take it if you do that you're going to be a heck of a lot more consistent the other thing that's challenging uh, about the particular situation that I'm in is we often fish really delicate little flies for baby tarpon, but right now uh, we're actually fishing Klaus or minnows. I'm fishing a weighted fly so that the tarpon that are up under can see that. So I'm giving him an adequate opportunity to see the fly because it's getting down pretty deep, say 18 inches right away and so those tarpon have a better line, line of sight to it than a fly that's right on the surface so with that weighted fly your problems are just going to be compounded if you don't get that back cast out and shoot it extremely tight so that's my tip really focus on the back cast and when you go to make that cast i want you to lift and really drive it back and try to keep that fly under constant tension with your rod tip always moving that's going to help there are lots of videos on Belgian wind casts or constant pressure casts with weighted flies and you can hear the wind I'm sure so that's a very very important tip uh, I'll just throw a little gear talk in here because people are always going to ask uh, what gear I have there's probably links right below the video but I'm throwing uh, Sage's newest rod it's their salt r8 and nine weight it's absolutely perfect for this and then uh, I've got it paired up with a Rio flats pro elite um, that's the newest version of the Flats Pro line. It has great distance control. You can measure your cast carefully. Uh, I also like the Scientific Angler's Grand Slam, but the slick cast coating on these Elite, or whatever the new product is that, that makes these lines fly, it really slides through the guides nice. But make sure you clean it in the evenings. Get some of those little line towelettes, and I'll try to remember to throw a link in the video description, because this salt water already today has made my line extremely sticky and it doesn't want to shoot into my back cast or my forward cast. The slicker the line is, you can shoot line both directions and make a better efficient use of your cast. Uh, T-bore Riptide Reel, you don't need a bulletproof reel for these baby tarp and they fight hard, but most of it's all just close to the boat. And then I'm running uh, just straight Scientific Angler's 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. And a lot of people just recommend a six foot leader, but this morning, uh, Dallas, my fishing partner and I found that running a leader out at like 10 feet was a lot better. The fish out in the open water this morning were pretty spooky on landing and we were throwing unweighted small flies at that time, not the clouser that we've been working the edges with now. But I like about 10 feet of 40 pound fluorocarbon for these fish. I think it casts fine and works great. But follow the links in the video description. We host trips and bring people to Campeche to fish for baby tarpon. Come with one of us. Will be a great tour guide for you. Any of our staff will run a really, really great trip, and you two will be able to catch some of these baby tarpon along the mangroves here.